This is Clem with Clem's Organic Gardens in Brevard, North Carolina. Today is September 6th, 2018. Uh, and I am following up with a uh, experiment on using wood chips in between the rows of plastic mulch as uh, weed control. So just to recap, so um, the winter squash, I grew all my winter squash on plastic mulch this year. And in some places I in all of the fields I use a um, cultivation tool to cultivate in between the aisles and then on some of them I after that I went through and spread wood chips using an old manure spreader um, to see to see what that would do and so this field here this is the one I videoed a couple months ago um, so what I did here is I laid the beds of plastic mulch imperfectly and then use that implement which was also imperfect to um, to cultivate in between um, and then spread the wood chips also imperfectly and but I did and I and I did that at the point right before the plants were um, too big to where I couldn't uh, drive over drive over the roads with the tractor anymore um, so the results are it works somewhat um i think it's i'm gonna try to do some more of it next year um i think it would be helped a lot by being more perfect in all those previous uh passes with laying the laying the plastic mulch really well so there's a really clear kind of like a wall of the plastic mulch um and then i think that would help with the cultivation as well the mechanical weed control and Although really the biggest the biggest factor is, uh, I mean the best weed control in winter squash is is a vigorous winter squash crop. Um, so in most most of my plants did pretty well this year. So they uh, they did a pretty good job of, of covering the of shading out any weeds. Um, so that was that was the biggest thing. So at this point, this field has been harvested already. The plants have pretty much died back, um, and so you can see there are some weeds. Um, but so let's compare so so and the reason I'm showing this field is I only got part of this field mulched to the wood chips because I ran out of wood chips and I didn't get any more for a while so um, so you can see here like so this is an aisle that was mulched um, it looks pretty good and you can see I actually only put the mulch the way it spreads it kind of just went on the along the shoulders of the plastic and not so much in the middle um, and I did not take time to spread it um, and that did that did a pretty good job uh, over here see this one did not receive any it just had the cultivation until the plants got too vigorous and so there's some weeds but even that's not too bad um, so yeah like I said it's really the the plant the the squash plants are going to be the best weed control. Um, one thing I have noticed, which could be a big factor, is in fields where we've already pulled up the plastic that had the wood chips, uh, the plastic pulled up very easily because there aren't any weeds growing like right along the, like when weeds grow right along the edge of the plastic here, um, they make it a lot harder to pull it up. So, um, and I haven't pulled any where I did not have wood chips, so I can't really say. Um, at this point, if it makes a difference, but anytime plastic pulls up easily, that's a, that's a good thing. And, yeah, so that's, um, that's really a really good conclusion. I mean, so we have some rows here, so like this middle row, this got, this got mulch on either side, um, and then kind of a wider space in between. Again, my spacing wasn't great in laying the plastic, that's why partly I say it was imperfect. Um, so you can see there's more weeds in that in that aisle way um but that's um i think that's about all i have to say about that for now